Hi, my name is Ricardo. I'm project manager with the Pan-Armenian German organization for PHO and we want to bring closer together the Armenian startup ecosystem and um, Germany, the German market and we are today here in the new office of Digital Pomegranate. I'm very honored to be here. We will conduct an interview with the CEO of Digital Pomegranate, Gayane, and uh, we will talk about how Digital Pomegranate manages to have so many international corporations. We will talk about how Digital Pomegranate uh, manages to build up an ecosystem, startup ecosystem in Gyumri. And we will also talk about which specific product Digital Pomegranate has for specifically also um, businesses in Germany. So I'm very looking forward to this interview. I'm very happy to be here, Ben. Please just introduce Digital Pomegranate, also yourself with a few words so that our viewers know what is Digital Pomegranate. Thank you, Ricardo. So, I'm Karine, CEO and co-founder of Digital Palm Brand. I'm also very honored to have this opportunity to talk about our company and how we have built the IT startup, successful IT startup in the Shiraz region in Kimberley. Right now, we are in our new office. We have just moved and it's a nice time to recall the details of how we started everything. So it started uh, back like six, um, almost seven years ago, back in 2013. Uh, we had one goal to build a sustainable IT business. And uh, we see all the IT scene and the developments in Armenia, the international co-founders for the digital pomegranate decided that we should go out of Yerevan, uh, we should pick a region, and I was offered to join the co-founders board with a suggestion to move back to Gyumri. So I am originally from Gyumri, but uh, six years ago I was getting my bachelor's degree in cross-cultural communications from Yerevan State University. And I was offered this job uh, to join the board with the goal to move back to Gyumri. Uh, and we discussed a lot and we said that um, it will have more impact in the region than in the capital city. Uh, we had just one goal to build our business, our IT business, and to build it. And we came up with this tagline of build your business, build it. So we are a digital solution providers, mobile app providers for the many, many um, small and medium enterprises all around the world. I already have seen like the new office a bit. Yeah. I'm very impressed by what you have built so far. Can you explain a bit about the concept of the new office that you have here built up in Gyumri? Uh, Digital Pomegranate has started its operations in the Gyumri Technology Center when we started the company. Uh, then, growing rapidly during these years, it was now high time for us to move from the startup incubator uh, to build our own infrastructure. And we have moved to this beautiful uh, building. Uh, this is a one floor large office, mostly outdoor space. We have separate meeting rooms, kitchen rooms, and different facilities, but it's a one main office space room. A room and it can feed almost uh, 50 employees um, and uh, it's located in the central square right in the heart of Gyumri and it has a beautiful view to different parts of the city. Mm -hmm. I, As far as I read there is also a balcony or like a restaurant but what is it exactly? Yeah, so let me tell you the nice things, which are still a bit of a surprise because we are still in the construction phase. In Gyumri, we are founding an open workspace for teams to come and rent desks and to work with all of the facilities and with the connection to digital pomegranate team. We are also in the same building upstairs, we are building a very nice modern guest house. We work with international clients and we attract a lot of investors to different products that we develop 
and we want to have this uh, nice mix of offer for business tourists of Gyumri and of Shiraz region to come here to be, to work with our team, to stay at our guest house, to work our workspace, and to stay connected to the team and to develop products together. So that's the uh, message that we are sending with all these new facilities that we invested a lot. Uh, so that people can know that Digital Pomegranate is the resource center for their products and they, they can partner with us and they can cooperate with us and Gyumri and this building has everything that they need, has everything that they uh, need to be offered. So this is going to become a very nice package and we are going to post it online and it will uh, help us also grow tourism, mostly business tourism in our region. Can you tell us a bit about the journey of the Digital Pomegranate within the last seven, eight years? What have been milestones for your company in this period? Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a very nice, amazing journey. And every time we talk about the story of how everything started, I feel very honored and happy and lucky that I was part of it from the very beginning. The company was founded by uh, U.S. Armenian, U.S. and uh, Brazilian Armenian, uh, diaspora Armenian uh, people, the board, the international board, and with the cooperation of local Armenians from here. Um, and I was part of the team from the very beginning. And as I mentioned, I was offered to move back to Gyumri to co-found the company and to run the company. It was a huge trust towards me at that time and it was very a very responsible work because we needed to make it a success story and the first success story out of Yerevan. Because right now we are the largest tech company out of Yerevan, founded out of Yerevan in Armenia. At that time Armenia was already globally positioned as a next generation technology hub and we had all of the different multinational companies, the presence of those companies in Yerevan already. And uh, we were in um, hardware engineering, we were in tech chips designs, in many technologies that were very modern at that time. And we were moving Armenia, I mean, as a country, was moving more towards software development hub. And we decided that it's the best time to found the company in mobile development, in software development, and Enterprise Incubator Foundation with the government of Armenia and the World Bank was founding the Gyumri Technology Center. And we thought that it's the best option for us if we want to be out of here and to have more impact, more social responsibility, we need to be in the region. And we founded the company in Gyumri Technology. Center. As a female CEO of a, um, almost a team of almost 40 people now, um, it's very challenging, it's very responsible and the gender, I think the gender doesn't matter in any way, it's a very responsible position because you have responsibilities towards your investors, towards your board that believed in you and towards your team that they can uh, just dream just like you dream and build a company with you because it's it's all about the team building it's it's all about the resources available in here in Gyumri and uh, I can say that it was uh, the best thing that could happen to me uh, in my life that I was introduced to our co-founders board and that we made the decision to build the company in Gyumri when you talk about social responsibility, what is included in this term for you, for, you, for the Chukomogonate, for you as a person as well? So this is an Armenian company founded in Gyumri and it means we are Gyumri citizens, right? Like largely if you look at that, this is a Gyumri company, this is the headquarters. So it means we need to be very responsible to the community that we are in, to the people that we work with and to the, to the town that we are located in. Uh, we organize a lot of educational and promotional events. We are in tourism for Gyumri. 
we built the first portal for Gimri, which is called, called visitgimri.com. And this is the main place that people go to check what is there in Gimri, what, where to go, what to visit for the tourists. So uh, with all of these technologies, because we are a technology company, we, with the technologies that we develop, we try to also help our community. Plus it's jobs, most, most important it's jobs, because Shirak region had the highest number of unemployment and poverty actually in Armenia. A, a lot of things have changed right now and we thought that um, economic development would be uh, the best thing for Gimri because it's no longer about charities, it's no longer about helping, but it's true economic development. Mm -hmm. So it's jobs, it's education, quality education that can train people, that can keep people in Gimri. We wanted to focus very much on the people of Gimri because we came here for talent, we came here for people, we came here for the design, creativity and technology mix. Uh, we want to, people to get attracted to stay in Gilmore and not to live at home. I think that's the most responsible thing that we could do here. Mm -hmm. And can you bring an example that comes to your mind about maybe a person who migrated back to Gilmore or who came to Gilmore just because of one of your projects that you implemented? Yeah, we have started this Repair Gilmore movement and we wanted to uh, offer jobs to specialists, to senior uh, professionals that left Gimri, like originally from Gimri, but left Gimri for different opportunities in Yerevan or like globally outside of Armenia. And we wanted to offer jobs to them to come back here. And we have succeeded. We had three successful cases that people uh, left Yerevan to come back and work here. And eventually we uh, hired two of them and eventually we had a uh, successful case of that a company founded and located in Gilmore can uh, do a powerful job offer that people can move back actually. And we are going to continue this movement. We always post about the topic. It's very important to us. And we will bring this repair Gilmore uh, hashtag on social media. And we want to build that image of the new Gilmore. You also said that you want to build an ecosystem, IT ecosystem, startup ecosystem here in Gilmore. How do you do that and what were successes in this regard? So the Armenian ecosystem is also is already very attractive to the international investors. And I said we are working on the decentralization of the startup ecosystem from Yerevan to the regions. And with the help of Kubri Technology Center, Kubri Information Technology Center, and our new idea of uh, Startup Nur, which was uh, born from the idea of Digital Pomegranate, we are going to work with local startups to connect them to the international um, bridge to our international network of different people that want to cooperate with Gimri companies, to partner with Gimri startups, uh, to build uh, products, to build tech products. Mm, we think the most important weak point that Gimri has, that local companies have, is marketing and sales. So we are going to work with them to uh, show them how we did it, what was the keys to success, what were the keys to success, how we did it and helped them to grow their businesses. So we have this idea of Startup Noob, which is going to be a, a, an incubator for startups that can come and learn and be trained with the resources of Digital Pomegranate and have access to our international network. So, and this is not a new thing to us because when we were founding Digital Pomegranate, we specifically picked this name of a pomegranate because it's one fruit, but it has hundreds of seeds inside. So we think that each seed inside Digital Pomegranate has the potential of becoming a new pomegranate. And last year we had our first success story of the first seed. Uh, it's a new company, new startup called Aeon Clouds that was grown from Digital Pomegranate's team and it was the first seed kind of that become a new company. 
and we want to implement kind of this model with working many many local startups that want that have ideas that have education that have commitment and time but they don't have the international outreach like we do to help them as a resource center and to help them as already professionals in the field to build their businesses and to build sustainable living in Europe. And I could observe in the I mean, IT scene that most of the entrepreneurs, it is actually quite similar to Germany as well, are men. And um, so there are not so many role models for young women to get entrepreneurs to um, start their own business. How? Yeah, what is your approach? Do you, do you feel that you can act as a role model for young women to, to go the step? Information technology industry in these days is more about men, but that image is already changing because there are already many successful female CEOs and, um, and leaders in the technology field that I am also getting very um, learning from them, following them, and they are acting as role models for me. The founder of Digital Pomegranate is a woman, uh, Zara Ingilizian, and she was actually the first role model for me that I wanted to follow. She's a top marketer in the United States, she's Armenian, and I can say that her model also helps a lot to shape our female team, female management team, along with here at Digital Pomegranate. Uh, it was it was very challenging when you are a woman, young woman with a family, with a three years old kid. Uh, it's a lot of time at your work. It's a lot of time for your family, so you get exhausted at some point. But if you want to do something very much, nothing can hinder you from doing that and from making it a success. So it's all about uh, willingness and commitment and the efforts to make it happen and of course hard work. So I want to encourage young women to get into IT. It's no longer about men. It's all about equal opportunities for everyone. And here at Digital Pomegranate, we value that equality for everyone and we are open for talks to everyone. So it, the gender doesn't matter, the age doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what people like, what people dislike. This is an open company for equal opportunities for everyone. So how is it seen in your team? So the top management of Digital Pomegranate are all females because we find that female managers are more caring and this is just, just about us. But of course, we have also uh, very successful women coders, very successful men coders. Uh, we have our technology leaders as men in the company. So as I said, we just found the balance and we just see who is better in what, where they can put their efforts in and um, how, how to build a good, sustainable and balanced team uh, to, be, to provide equal opportunities for everyone. That's very, very important to us. I know that Digital Pomegranate offers a product all around the globe. Can you tell maybe more about what you actually offer? Uh, so Digital Pomegranate is a mobile and web development hub for small and medium enterprises all around the world. We export our products and we are focused on five main uh, industries that we code products for. So it's education, online education. Uh, which we uh, partner with Tokai University from Japan to build a university management system and online learning platforms and tools. We will also later focus on the Chinese market. We have our IoT industry that we code. Uh, we develop products for um, remote control of smart devices, smart homes, and a very like, kind of a modern uh, a technology of IoT. Then we do uh, fitness and health because nowadays, especially of this COVID-19, people stay home, they need online tools, they need mobile apps to exercise and stay in shape. Um, we have entertainment and music business, which we are uh, already global player in this field. Um, and then we have our business administration and accounting for small and medium businesses. So, in regards to the efforts of Pan-Armenian German organization, 
I want to say that there are two products that we uh, want to export to the more European market and specifically to the German market. Uh, we have built uh, something called Express VAT, which is an online tax, sub tax submission uh, system and accounting system, which is already very successfully operating in the United Kingdom. And we have seen how uh, small and medium businesses have grown recently in the European countries and in Germany. So we think this is a great solution to run the accountings and to uh, submit the tax reports to the government for also German uh, small and medium companies. And there is also another product that we have developed for two years already. It's called Triviamatic and it's a bar uh, trivia solution, online digital solution for the bars to run online um, games and to run live events at their locations, which helps them mostly on the slow nights and have more visitors and have them come back to the bars on like Tuesday night or Wednesday night. And this is the bar trivia idea is already very famous and uh, in the United States and we have tested out a lot our product in the US market and we want to get into the European market, specifically to the German market because we know that the Germany and other countries have a long tradition of beer drinking and beer making. So we think that bar trivia idea is going to be a great add-on solution for the uh, bars uh, in Germany. Uh, because we know people like to play, like educated, intelligent people like to play quizzes and they can have fun time live at the bar, plus they can play some trivia. And the bars can offer it to their visitors as events because we know the gamification and the event culture is growing so much. People want something happening in the bar, in the cafe, in the pub, that they can come back again and bring more friends and bring more uh, visitors to the bars. So this is another product that we think that Armenia and our team from Pumri can provide to the German, to the German uh, people uh, from here. Plus, uh, we also have a very successful cooperation with one of German companies and we have built a product uh, music pub for the music publishers in the German market which is called iGroove. So this is the app is in German language, so we have moved from more like English focused markets and we have built our first mobile app with the main language of German language, uh, which is called, as I said, iGroove and it's for music publishers and for music business owners in the European countries. So it was a very great and uh, successful cooperation and we are uh, honored that a team uh, located far from Germany in Armenia can provide quality solutions to the German companies. Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned the music business and I said we are already a top player in the world, I want to mention our partnership with Sony ATV and Sony Music uh, companies from the United States. Um, we are cooperating with them from 2017. It has been a long-term cooperation and partnership and we have built a lot of uh, digital solutions for their payment system, for the analytics, for the reports and a lot of top stars in the world use a mobile app and web platforms uh, developed here from Gumri to manage their financials and to see their financial reports. That sounds uh, really impressive. What I wonder is how do you manage to cooperate with so many different countries around the world? I think like even the uh, exchange sometimes between companies from Germany and Armenia is not so easy because of different cultures of working. How do you manage all this? Yeah, when you work with Germany, when you work with Japan, with China, with other countries. So I will tell you I'm a specialist in cross-cultural communications and when I was graduating I didn't even know how I'm going to use those skills that I gained from the university. And then when I started operating a business that has all of those bridges to different cultures and countries, 
Uh, I understand that it was the main direction that as a company CEO I am going to take and I am going to facilitate those communications. It's all about effective cultural communications and cross-cultural communications. Because first of all, you need to understand their communication model, their business models, how they want to talk to each other, how want that they want to be offered something, how they want to negotiate something, right? So I think those skills that I had and I also trained our team members about that helped us a lot because we are great communicators and we know the specifics of every culture, how to talk to these people and how to gain their trust. But uh, sure, also I will tell you, it's also the international impact of our international board that we have because we talk to these people who are professionals in their field, in their businesses. They have been very successful and they have come here to help our little digital pomegranate to grow. And uh, we have learned so much from them. We have been trained for so many years that we are ready to talk to to, to get our company to this international level and to talk, as you mentioned, to different cultures and to different businesses around the world. Mm -hmm. You already told me in the pre-talk uh, that you have a new program bringing international uh, investors, for example, or international partners to Gumri. What is it about? So after making Digital Pomegranate a successful company, we decided that we are going, we are not going to stop here and we are going to move forward with building a huge um, startup network from Gumri and to connect them to the world investors. We want to act as a bridge to local teams from here because we already have the trust uh, for the larger international companies and the investors already trust us because we have shown them that we can work, we can develop great products and now we want our community to uh, become more entrepreneurial, to found different teams and to uh, get connected to the world, right? So Digital Pomegranate is going to be that bridge for international investors and local startup teams from the Shirak region. We are going to build that connection. We are going to um, function as a resource center here because we have the infrastructure already ready. We have our resources for, from Digital Pomegranate. We are building, building our workspace, which is a great office space for teams to gather and work. And promoting the business tourism from Gyumri, we also have built a very modern and tech guest house upstairs, right here in this same building. So if you look at that, it's a very nice mix and it's a very well packaged a well packaged solution for an investor, right? They can get connected to digital pomegranate, they can have their idea, they can hire the team, they can rent the workspace, they can stay at the guest house and only spending three to four weeks in Gumri uh, as a business tourist, they can start off their project and they can develop it right here. And then when they fly back, they already have the good based solution the good base of their uh, product that they envisioned. So this is very important message that we want to send out that people that are interested to invest in tech startups, they can come to Startup Loop, they can come to Digital Pomegranate and they can use all of these available resources already here. So the international investors or business partners, they can discover Armenia, Gyumri um, at the same time as a tourist and as a businessman or woman and um, yeah, see what's happening in Gyumri basically, yes? Yeah. yeah, they can discover a lot of nice places and they can come to see uh, who they are working with because we don't want to just act as an online remote team but we want to build that trust and build that connection that you as an international founder or investor from European countries, from China, Japan, Brazil, Australia, you are working with a real team, with a trustful team, with the real resources that they can support you with design, with coding, with architecture, back end, front end, 
with storytelling, with marketing, with content writing, with websites, with promotions, with all of this, you are hiring the team that, uh, that you can feel that you are just working with daily. It's not just a remote freelance team, but you are working with them daily. And we think that this is a better model than we have now in the market when you are hiring remote teams. It's uh, really challenging because you have to track people, you have to track the times, you have to see where they are, then there are also those time zone differences. It's hard for a person to uh, invest uh, that much money. It's very hard to trust the team. That's why we want to help those teams to get connected to us and to get connected to the international team. This is a great package and if people are interested, they can contact us. Great. I, I think um, trust is a, like, one of the most important terms in, in business generally, but also when it comes to to work internationally. Yeah? How you can build trust, although you work um, beyond borders. Yeah? So it's a great approach. I, I really appreciate um, this idea and I hope that a lot of people will make use of it and um, that it will yeah. start operating soon, even when we are not like we have the coronavirus situation, yeah. but still there will when be the, when the borders yeah, are open, it will be already available. Mm -hmm. And it's not that we uh, came up with the idea and we don't know how it will work. We already have the cases that our clients travel to Gyuri to work with us for two, three weeks to build the base of the project and to fly back from here with already having something very consistent with them and something very mm, tangible with them because they needed to learn who we are, how we work, what is the team here, is that just individuals, is that a real team and we have seen these people trusting us more with traveling from like Poland, from US, from Brazil, from Japan, from China and we said uh, we should come up with the official package of that so that the clients are more encouraged to hire us and to partner with us. It's not more about contract work, but it's more about partnerships. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also about showing Armenia as a country. Yeah? Because many people unfortunately don't have an imagination what is Armenia about, yeah? what is Armenian culture about. And I think it's it also produces trust. Yeah, when you have been to the country, when you got to know the language, maybe the, the food, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Great. It's so it's real partnership and real relationship with the real trust. Everything is real, and we think that that was the key to our success because we operated as a, a sustainable team. We operated as that we are there for our clients to support in every time. No matter the time zone differences, no matter the language barriers, uh, that's why we think that we should continue this model and we should help other startups from our region. So we want to be the gate to open the Shiva region uh, opportunities, the Shiva region resources to the world. Um, can you tell me more about the vision for Yumi, for Digital Pomegranate in the next years? What are your plans? What are your aims? So we see uh, digital pomegranate growing more and more this year. Uh, no matter the challenges of the COVID-19, we have grown so much from the first months of the year. We are going to continue this and we see ourselves by the end of the year, we see ourselves as a powerful team of almost 50 people that will provide uh, quality products for the world, small and medium businesses. And we want to see our city, we want to see Gyumri as a hub for business tourism. That investors will come here with the help of Digital Pomegranate, will get connected to the startup, local startup teams, and will build their businesses based on the technology solutions from Digital Pomegranate and from the companies of the startup group. We think that Gyumri is taking the direction of technology, IT, industry, different fields of IT, and tourism. And we totally support these two directions, and we think that we are going to help 
with the base of our clients, with the base of our partners. We will help the business tourism of Kyumri to grow even more in the upcoming two, three years. Thank you very much, Gayan, for this great insights um, about digital pomegranate, about Gyumri, about your personal way, about yeah, what are your plans for Gyumri for Armenia and also to intensify the relations, um, economic relations between startups, Armenian startups and um, the international markets. Yeah? That is also one of our aims of Pan-Armenian German organization. Yeah? We focus on the German-Armenian economic ties. Yeah? But I really want to thank you. Yeah, I think people, international business um, people get got a really huge insight what's happening here in Yuri. So, and I'm very Honored that I was here, um, one of the first guests in your new office. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for this opportunity. We always value the power of like uh, this outreach to the world, the power of network, the power of spreading the stories and spreading the word about us because we think that more and more people need to learn about digital pomegranate, need to learn about Gyumri, need to learn about Armenia, and we are happy to act as ambassadors of telling those success stories and letting people know that this is a great place to come, to invest, and to build companies.